from his humble beginning, shooting hoops on the court of his local YMCA in Flint, Michigan, to clinching a championship with the Lakers. Our next guest has cemented himself as one of the best front court players in all of basketball. He is the man, and he joins us now to tell us more about his career-making season and share a special message with his hometown. Please welcome NBA champion, Washington Woo! Wizards forward and entrepreneur, Kyle Kuzma. See you, man. And, and I was telling Rihanna, I love this outfit that you got on, looking very it. chic, looking very nice. Thank Pull you. together. We love to see it. So you spent a lot of time, of course, playing for the Lakers, and at times you were pretty much in the, you know, the back, you know, yeah. playing in the back seat. And now you're with the Washington Wizards, where you were leading uh, the team. Talk about that transition first. You know, it's been an unbelievable transition. You know, and, and for me, um, I was blessed and, and and grateful to play in front of or play behind some great players. You think of LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and I really got to take a back seat and, and I, I don't like to call it a back seat it's more so a front row seat and I can watch those guys and, and watch uh, their movements and how they approach the game and how they approach their profession and I've been able to take that to Washington and um, you know just thrive and it's been great and I love this I feel like we can all learn a little something from you because you said no matter who you're on the court with yeah. you consider yourself the best player where does this, yeah. this confidence come from how do you use that Talk mindset yourself, yeah you said I'm the best no, no matter I what mean, um, I've been working really, really hard my entire life, so I feel like there's no reason for me not to be confident, you know, and I think a lot of my irrational confidence is um, it's very important to me because when you're playing at this such a high level, there's only been 4,000 NBA players in the history of the sport, so you have to have some type of edge when you're playing against the greatest and, and the elites every single night, so... You know, I could step out on the ledge and say you get it from your mama because mom that too. played varsity <laughs> basketball yeah. uh, for two years. How did she inspire your career, or did she? Oh, it inspired me tremendously. You know, for her, um, grow when I was growing up, she worked two jobs, and that hard work and dedication just to, you know, make ends meet and put food on the table, that's that's been my inspiration my entire life. And, and seeing that at a young age and seeing how um, someone – of her just leading by example uh, for her kids and, and everything, it was you know all I really needed. So I love to hear that yeah. love for your mom. But we got to talk about the pink sweater because you're not only a force yeah. on the court, yeah. but also you're a bit of a fashion icon. Yeah. There it is. You can see it. Right here. Would you like it? Would you like it? Absolutely love it. Yeah. You made headlines with it. Yeah. Even uh, got turned into a bobblehead. So where where do you get your fashion <laughs> inspiration? <laughs> Do you get it from your girlfriend, maybe? Does she help you out, your model girlfriend? You know, everybody thinks that. You know, I think, um, you know, for me, uh, it all started when I was younger, and my great or my grandmother used to make us go to church with her. So dressing up for church, that was always a thing every Sunday. And from there, you know, I was like that, that, that young light-skinned kid that's going to church, and everybody loves me and you know dress nice and and from there you know it's always been you know it's a first impression speaking of your love of fashion and design yeah. it has led to an apparel collection a foot collection for you uh, entitled uh, childhood dreams and and puma how do you use this collection to sort of collect connect uh, to your roots you talked about the church yeah well i think for me the biggest thing with um you know my brand and, and childhood dreams is everybody growing up has dreams right um, whether that's to be an NBA player, to be a talk show host, to be a fashion designer, but a lot of those dreams and aspirations come from when you're a child. And for me, um, you know, that's where everything I've done in my entire life has came from, and uh, my roots have made me who I am today. So. And let's talk about that because you grew up in Flint, Michigan. Mm -hmm. We saw a video of you playing at your local YMCA. Um, talk about what that experience growing up in Flint, what it meant to you, to the man you became today. Oh well, the YMCA was amazing. You know, for me, it was a place where I could I could be safe and I could just be myself. And you know, a lot of times my mom would be working um, eight nine hours a day. And, um, you know, I would have to take the bus sometimes super early in the morning in the summers just to be there. And I wanted to be there because, one, there's nothing to do at home. And, two, I love basketball. So me being able to get to the Y early and uh, play against the older guys at, like, 12 when they had their lunch break and be, being able to stay until 5 to play with my guys, it's, it's helped shape my life. Um, who I am today, so. You know, just with our conversation, we can tell you had a big heart. Yeah. And speaking of having a big heart, yeah. you got a surprise for your hometown YMCA, so they are joining us. Yes, we from do. From Flint, Michigan. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Uh, you know, what's up, everybody? Here, Kyle Kuzma, and he has a huge 
huge announcement for you guys. Uh, Cal, what do you have to say to him? Well, thank you guys so much. Um, I am donating a million dollars to the Flint YMCA. Wow. Uh, wow. Extremely excited um, to give you guys this opportunity. I know for me, the YMCA has been an extremely big part of my life, and I never really had amazing resources. And for you guys, uh, I want to make sure you guys have that in, in the younger generation in Flint. So thank you, YMCA. Hope you appreciate it. Love you guys. Shelly, if you can hear me, you're the CEO of the YMCA there. Tell us what this donation means to you and the YMCA. How will this help the community? Oh my gosh, this is so special. It's so personal for the Flint YMCA. This gift is going to help us build a state-of-the-art facility. It's going to be a place for summer basketball camps. It's going to be a place for families to come recreate together for pickup games. Uh, this is just, it's extremely exciting. So on behalf of the staff, our volunteers, and most importantly, our members. I just want to say a huge thank you. Yeah, this is really, really a big deal right here. We love to see it. And not only do we have folks from the community there, but Kyle, Kyle's mom, Carrie, is there. Carrie, hello to you. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what does it mean to you, mom, just seeing your son giving back to his roots in such a major, major way? Um, I think it's just going to be a great thing for the community uh, and the city of Flint um, and for the members. I think it's something that they really deserve. They've, you know, hung in there with this Y for so many years. Um, it's been needing some upgrades, so this is going to be a great thing for the city of Flint and the members and the families, just more space um, and just a safe place for the kids, more programs, like she said. Um, I think it's just going to be awesome for the city of Flint and Kyle. Thank you so much um, for being such a great Aww. human and giving back. Mom, what you doing? You're trying to make everybody you just do it. Right. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. We're so happy for you. And, and you know what, Mom? Uh, it, it's an emotional time for you. Uh, we want to switch it around just a little bit. Can you tell us any funny stories about this young man? <laughs> Was he always a good kid? He was always a good kid, honestly. Like, he never never really got in trouble. Um, and like he said, like, you know, I would drop him off sometimes, you know, before work, and he would have to stay here for eight hours until, you know, I could get out of work to come get him. And it's, you know, it just shows the commitment that he has, and that's why he is where he is. And um, he's, I'm so proud of what he's done on the court, but more importantly, what he's done off the court and continues to do. And just um, God has blessed him to be able to help other people in the community. And it just really means a lot to me. And guess what, Mom? We're proud of you. Hats off mm. to you for what you did. You raised a good young man. Yes, she did. Wow. Uh, she's she's so proud of you. Yes. Wow. wow. That was very special. What a special moment. And, and just so excited for all of them. Uh, again, thanks so much for being with us today. And, and, and all that you were doing, uh, giving back to your community. It is nice to see you're setting an example mm -hmm. for so many of us to always give back. Never forget where you came yep. from. Appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you. Using your platform for Thank good. You. Thank that you. is such an inspiration, Kyle. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.